I want to thank on behalf of uh, Jewish Community Council and uh, all the various communities and liaisons that we have, community leaders that we have among us, uh, for the participation of uh, the NYPD, the FD, and the Sanitation Department. It has become a tradition uh, that uh, twice a year before the holidays we meet to go through some details about the holidays. Now, of course, we know that the NYPD, of course, we had the meeting yesterday in headquarters, 1PP, and over there everything is prepared already because the commanding officers have met with the community leaders already in regards to Passover, and the fire department has met already with us and with Hatzalah in regards to the burning of the Chomets. But just for an over-review to go through and then give an opportunity, and the real truth is we don't have that many opportunities to individually thank the men uh, in blue and the fire department and the sanitation department for everything that they are doing for the community, the lives that they are saving. We, over 35 years, have saved thousands of lives and we want to thank them for doing But there is one more point which is pertaining to today's meeting. Uh, the burning of the bread, the burning of the chumets used to be a disaster as the fire department knows it and PD knows it. And we used to transport, unfortunately, 90 or 100 kids into the hospital in, in one uh, day, in one year, the day before Passover. And it was a disaster until Hatzola and I was uh, involved with them. Hatzola came up with the idea to sit down with the fire department and coordinate it. And since then, it has done tremendous. Thank God, and we're not going with uh, every year. We, thank God didn't have anybody getting injured from those fires. And with God's help, the same thing is going to happen uh, tomorrow. Hi, Chief Banks. Welcome to Chief Banks. How are you, Chief? Uh, Chief Banks has another commitment that he has to go in a few minutes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm going to ask first uh, uh, Fred Kreisman from the mayor's office to come up and say a few words. Following him will be Chief Banks. Thank you very much. First of all, I want to thank the community, the Jewish Community Council of Williamsburg and Clinton Hill for hosting us today. Uh, I really appreciate your assistance throughout the year. We only can uh, best serve the community when we find out what the issues are in the community. And I, I mean, the mayor's thank office. You more uh, thank you for inviting me. Very much appreciated. Um, very seldom do I come to a good friend there. Right, how are you doing today? Um, very seldom do I come uh, to meetings late, and certainly I don't like to leave early, but it, uh, I don't have a commitment. I have to go see the doctor because I have an injury, and I, and I really it's have to uh, roll the escalator, and I, I have to keep. Um, but to, from the, you know, on behalf of the Community Affairs Bureau, Commissioner Kelly, to our friends in, the, uh, in this particular community, I see my very good friend Abe Stein going back there from my time to 7-9. Um, you know, the commitment on behalf of the police department is there, it's always been there, uh, it will continue to be there, uh, because it should be there, you are certainly our worthy partners as we, uh, we look to do our particular job, so I'd like to thank you for what you do to assist us in making our job a little bit better. And um, to the holidays, you know, these holidays are supposed to be healthy, and they're supposed to be prosperous, and I certainly pray that they are for all, and specifically during this time for your particular community. But as we do know, that there are some who do wish that um, it's not a healthy and, uh, and a healthy uh, holidays. And we have to continue to be vigilant in that particular area so that we can suppress those few who may look to uh, embark some type of danger on you. You're in very good hands because I think you really have the best in the business and Jerry Nelson, who has actually taught me like a lot throughout my particular career. So uh, I know you're in really good hands with him. Marvin Lewis has got to be like the best community affairs lieutenant around. I mean, he's like... Oh, uh, happy holiday. As we had the meeting yesterday, we spoke about conditions within the community, and there's no plausible threat. But like my chief said, it's always at this particular time we pay special attention. Our partnerships and the great partnership that we've had over the years within this community, we've always worked well together. You're our eyes and ears. We have your, your welfare in our minds. We have special conditions. All my commanding officers are aware of what's going on. They've been speaking to you. This is not something, this is a meeting like we're holding for the first time. No, not at all. You've always had meetings, open door policies. When you mention all those precincts you have been covering, half of my command, 
uh, you're stepping into the 7-7 seven, seven lightly, pretty soon it's going to go from the 9-0 right through the 7-7. Seven, seven. You're going to be all over Brooklyn. Uh, on Monday, as everybody knows, we have the burning of the bread. Uh, it's been, Williamsburg has been a model for uh, how we handle it. Great uh, community participation, along with the police, with sanitation, that's all the everybody going on. Zero injuries last year. The one thing we did add this year uh, that you'll see out there, we're putting out uh, community relations teams at the big burn sites just to uh, further uh, fire safety education uh, teams, just to try to uh, educate people about the danger of fires, make it more outreach into the community. And uh, the, the bottom line is to keep everybody safe. So we, I thank you for inviting us. I thank you for including us in this. And to all, uh, happy holidays. Thank, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Borough Chief Tom Doyle of Brooklyn North. I may be new to Brooklyn North, but I'm not uh, new to Passover, as I was Assistant Chief of Cleaning Operations for Sanitation. Um, it's a lot to learn. I, I, I work with Fred for numerous years. Um, it's new to me, uh, some, some aspects of this uh, Passover ritual. Um, but... We're here, you know, just like our corner parts with the fire department and PD. We have our containers out to assist the communities. We'll be cleaning the streets, and with the community's help, we'll be nice and clean, make it safe, and let uh, everybody enjoy the holidays. Thank you. So we are so indebted to him. I'm not going to mention things day after day. As soon as he gets involved in any matter what happens in the community, he smells it feels it, and knows how to dissolve it. And that is somebody who is a real leader in the community. And we really appreciate how you deal with the Shammer Patrol because of you. And of course, it spreads out to the 7-9 and to the other precinct as well. But because of the way you treated them, when you came in into the 9-0, it gave Yankee, Shraggy, and all of them the courage, Zalmalaib, the courage to do the right thing. And that's why now, it lays over, it makes it easier for the 79, it makes it easier for the 88, and for 940, and for everybody else. So thank you, Inspector, and I would like to ask you to say thank you for inviting me. Moshe, uh, thank you. Um, first of all, I just want to thank, uh, in addition to you guys, um, Borough Commander, uh, Chief Nelson, uh, my XO. Uh, Chief Eunuch, uh, for having the confidence in, uh, and allowing me to do this job, so thank you. Um, but this is going to be my third Passover season uh, in the 9 precinct. And uh, before I get started, I thought I thought Moish had told me when I heard Chief Nelson talking before. I thought I was the only one who came to visit on uh, on Friday, so I'm a little uh, I'm a little upset about hearing that. Uh, but uh, as I look around the room, there's there's so many familiar faces and. and uh, when I had first gotten here, never thought I would know the names or, or the stories. Uh, but as, as year three comes, uh, it, it became friends with, with just about everyone in this room. And I thank you for, uh, for your friendship, your cooperation, and, and for your support. Um, the uh, holiday season of Passover, as, is, as it approaches, uh, we're, we're prepared. The 9 precinct is prepared as usual. Um, you're going to continue to see increased presence, both uniforms, you, we're going to have plainclothes presence uh, at uh, synagogues and other sensitive locations. Um, and we're going to also supplement the uh, uniform and plainclothes with outside resources also, uh, some of which we heard about yesterday at headquarters. Um, uh, additionally, we, we spoke about Shamram. I know uh, Shamram. Exactly. I went Commanding to officer of the 79th Precinct. And um, on behalf of all the members of the 79th Precinct, uh, we will be absolutely vigilant um, with the upcoming holidays. This is my first uh, Passover holiday as the commander of the 79th Precinct. I got assigned here May 5th of last year, so this will probably be the, the end of my first as far as being commander of the 79th. But I do understand the importance, and, and as we all know, the 79th Precinct Jewish community is expanding and growing every day. And uh, I think it's a wonderful thing. And I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge my very good friend, uh, Yidl, as we all know, Abe Stein. And, and Abe has been uh, amazing for me. Um, I'm learning the Jewish traditions. This is the first time I ever worked in Brooklyn in almost 20 years with the department. And it's been a wonderful experience. And, and I thank uh, Yidl for his uh, knowledge and, and how much he cares for the community. And it's really... Uh, 
you know, helping me out uh, during my tenure uh, in the 79. And here, you know, prior to this meeting, he's come to my office. We talked about Passover, all the traditions. And uh, you have my word that the 79th Precinct uh, is here to help you. And we'll be here during the holidays. And have a happy holiday to everyone here. Thank you. <laughs> we have stories. Uh, this is not Since the first I've been, time. This is like my third year. And it's always Kemper, 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 you know? It just goes to show you're doing a great job, Pika. I'm just jealous. Right? Um, there's not much I can say that hasn't been said already. Um, I just want to thank the JCC for the genuine, constant uh, friendship and cooperation when things come up, especially with, with all the uh, organizations that are involved in the community, okay? And uh, Brooklyn North, they always know we have their back. And, of course, Chief Nelson also a huge mentor of mine. You know, I'm always there for you. Thank you. Uh, today, and everybody knows what the meeting's all about, and everybody knows what we're doing Passover the first night, the second night, and uh, thank you everybody for coming. There is one thing, I think we were talking about Yiddish, there is one thing I'm going to learn you now. There is a word called Tachlis. Tachlis means in Yiddish, it's actually a Hebrew word, but we talk, we're using it for Yiddish. Bottom line, get to the point. We're sitting here for two hours eating little uh, goodies, uh, coffee and stuff, and everybody's trying to explain in an other way why we're all here and why we sit here. I don't think that this, we need so much explanation for that. This is very simple. The community over here cannot, and we cannot live over here without the services of those people, our beloved, all public officials, that we need you guys on a daily basis. If anybody will ask somebody, where are you going for Passover? Nobody will tell you we're going to a third world country because...